Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Homesick, episode 67. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode, so that means the cat logo will be up, the blur, and all that stuff to cover the Webtoon. I know you guys don't like it, I don't like it, but because I got copyrighted, by Naver Webtoons, I have to do it. So please be understanding. I'm sorry. Like, I'm tired of reading the comments about people complaining about it. All right. I'm sorry. If it's a public video, I have to censor it if I want my channel to keep on going. Anyways. But if you guys want to read this without any censorship and I, it is private, I do have it on patreon.com slash cktchaotic and it's also available for you guys who also wants early access to my content, everything that I read for the month of August instead of waiting for it to be premiered. So let's go ahead and get started. Whew, let's go. Kenny. Hey. It's time to wake up. Boom. Huh? Homesick. Sammy, hey, you're awake. You wanna eat? Are you thirsty maybe? Just tell me what you need and I'll get it for you. I've always hated you. What? I worked hard to make sure Penny had everything she needed. I kept her safe, bought her all the things she wanted. Working multiple jobs while studying was tough, but I made it work. All that mattered was providing for, for Penny. And you, you dropped out of school because you thought it was pointless. Met a group of junkies, went to the clubs, and got wasted every night. You were living your so-called best life. You have no idea how much I wanted you gone from Penny's existence. When you were sent to prison for killing that man at the club, it was just like a weight had lifted off my shoulder. Knowing that you were go gonna rot in prison relieved me. I, why are you saying all of this? This isn't you. Because when you were peacefully sitting in prison, things didn't get easy for us because of you. People at school were scared of Penny. Her friends too. She was devastated. And it was because she missed you so much, she lost sleep over you. It pissed me off. She's dead now. Not that you even care. Wrong. I never stopped thinking about her. You never once thought about her. You never cared to crap about anyone. You're always thinking about yourself. That's not true. I care about you. Bull crap. Is your way of caring putting others' life in danger? Not only did you betray me, you got one of your friends killed. How did it feel losing Naven, by the way? I bet you were glad it wasn't you. Stop. What about those secretly, secret nightly session with Mateo? Were you really receiving punishments from him so he do, wouldn't lay a hand on Naven? Or was there something else going on? Did he whip you? Torture you? Did he touch you inappropriately? Is that what happened? You told him things that upset you and he took advantage of that. What a snake. Yeah. But you know what? You deserved every last bit of it. <laughs> you good for nothing. Kenny? Hey, you're freaking me out a little. What's going on? Hey. Shoo. What the crap? <gasps> Why'd you kill me? <gasps> I thought we were friends. <gasps> Kenny? <gasps> Where do you think you're running off to? Oh man, stop running away from me. This is so trippy. Sorry kiddo, daddy didn't mean to raise your, my tone at you. Just promise you won't say a word to your mother or, or anyone else. 
I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't want to see me in a very bad place, yeah? It'd be a secret between the two of us, okay? Promise me. <laughs> S sweetie, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Did your father say something to you? <gasps> then what's the matter? Whatever it was, I'm sure he'll be get better. Come on, let's get you ice, ice cream. Are you future me? Huh? Mommy says it'll get better. Is that true? Does it get any better? I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. It'll get better. Who's there? Hello, Kenny. I'm your guardian angel. Guardian angel that's right i've been watching you for quite some time now and i believe it's finally time to reach out to you and lend you a hand if you wish to accept my help i can promise the power you once lost but most importantly the freedom you've always desired can we really be free if that's what you want i'll sure grant it to you little one all you need to do is take my hand and accept me as yours. Kenny, where'd you go? Crap, what is he thinking? Huh? Uh, <gasps> oh, homesick. One of you guys did warn me that this episode would trip me out. It's... Oh my god, this is such a good read. Oh! Look, I keep saying that Homesick is so slept on. I, like, I don't understand why it's not viral, why like not a lot of people read it. I like... But come on, the art, the storyline, like, ugh, I just love it. I love it so freaking much. <sighs> Poor Kenny. So like, this is all the stuff that is in his head that he he taught he constantly torment himself with, and this Merc is presenting it to him and tricking him. Oh my God, they're playing mind game with him. Wow, just wow. Okay, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, for feel feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on what y'all think of this episode right here and i'll catch you guys next time bye